tutorial in this tutorial we will see how we can sum a column and also use the group by uh, so you can see that I have written here a SQL in here in my SQL so you can see the here I have selected the month name and also use the sum method in here to get the total amount and also I have made this group by month so you will get the month name with the total amount so let's execute this query then you see that month name and the total amount in here so same thing that we will do in CACPHP using query builder so let's do it so for that I'm just writing I'm just uh, giving this example in index method you see the index method in here so don't be uh, confused I'm just making a example in here So first I'm just taking a variable called query and just writing these uh, transactions and the find method. And here I'm just writing this query called query and selecting the method. So there's a method in CAC page called select in query builder. And we can select the month in here and we will also need the total field, this one. So first in month, uh, I'm just writing here uh, this query fun method. This cat pitch has a method called fun to write the MySQL function. For example, you have the MySQL function like month name and also the sum the aggregate function that you can write using this fun method. So I'm just here just typing the month name and in this month name, we have to mention the field name for example created is our field created is our field and you have to uh, mention that it's an identifier identifier okay so second thing that I am just uh, taking the total in here so same thing we have to do we just copy this portion and I'm just here giving them my function name is sum and in this sum I'm just taking the transactions amount field okay so after take this one then I'm just going to order this one order the month name oh, sorry not order it's a group so I'm just grouping the month name in here month name and then finishing my semicolon in here so now for see the output I'm just uh, giving here the query to array sorry to array to array actually uh, making a uh, for each loop for example if I not use this for to array you have to just uh, uh, make a for each loop on this query so in short we can use this to array after save if you just go in output you will see the two data one is for the July and this for the June so exact the same that there has okay okay this one so it's very simple isn't so you just need to um, send this query in your view and just the same thing that you have to do in index for example you have just the same thing you have to do in here loop on it and don't use this uh, to array when we will send this for example if you want to send it you have to just write uh, summary like something like that and query this one and you just need to this summary send it in here and this summary you have to use this one in your index so that's it so that that was the today's tutorial that how we can actually use this aggregate function like my sql function month name and sum and there is others method so this one actually a example i have used here the uh, my sql if you're using the postgre it's almost same the total is the same but the month name that i have used this month name function is actually different in uh, postgre so you have to use the your postgres 
uh, method in here, then it will be the same output that I have given in here. So thank you for watching this tutorial. Welcome for the next tutorial.